and then decide to munch into Tango. Force yeah. Tidehunter to burn through these consumables and force him off the lane. That's, yeah. that's the goal right now of Funnick. He knows he's, he'll take some damage, but he also knows too, he's the man walking around with a salve. Now picks up a stick charge solo. He's only got a Hex available with the Anchor Smash. There's no Gush to follow up. Funnick though taking a hell of a lot of damage here. He's actually in a little bit of trouble. The dive will come in from Yoki and he'll get the kill. The Anchor Smash, he didn't cut his path through the tree line. Which is still an issue for Empire though. They have no sentry, so they cannot pull. Flies dead. Chikuchi's right. coming in. The chilling touch bonus damage up, and the timber, so uh, the uh, tree protector, sorry, will not survive this. So this just a one for one trade off. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how this happening actually. He's a viper. He's, his damage is fine. He oh, Dendi, really trouble. Hex, straight damage from resolution. They actually put the living armor on him. Dub survived. Dendi will live on 28 life points. And then the rotation came in from the vengeful spirit. He'll come back in to fight. There's no mana for an orb, but he can just physical attack into Solo. And Solo's got nothing to can stop this at all. Puck will take the kill. Good rotation from Vance. We're going to try and contest him. I don't, I don't know if that's actually Sing Sing or not, but. Yeah. It just gives you so much power right now with a leap seed, always on a fly. Phoenix already okay, uses Timber Chain extended. and he needs a tree. He can't get to one. Solo's here. He'll find one to the right. Stick charges what, up, what but happened? the kill comes in. The line attack follows him all the way do through. That, I'm like, <laughs> yep, because anybody can do that right now. <laughs> all you gotta do is just go to the middle lane, level up corrosive skin, Radiant and just wish him the best of luck. Because if you don't get the kill, you're also like, you miss out so much. Now, Wave of Terror, only oh, kiss him out. Oh. Always want to fly. Just a bit of a, just a bit of a look. Yeah, I think Salon was really, really late on the point as well. They're about to also come in towards, uh, well, middle lane. There goes Dandy with his ultimate. The Ice Blast gonna fly in, and Resolution will be hit by this, but Vanscore cops up the entire Eclipse. Resolution will still go down. Havorce will come in to bring in a bit more help, and that's with the Weaver bug. Dandy is uh, slowly ticking, but the phase shift and then into the Bottle Charge will keep him alive, and Havorce going in very, very deep for this one, but he can't go that deep. I think he might just die here, actually. Well, if Solo had level 6, I would have said yes, there's a Hex, there's a stun. Yeah, if, does he have enough damage with just him? Always enough flies coming yeah, over. And now Denny turns and actually gets a rebuttal kill. Lead Seed was too late. Wow. And Denny will even TP out. Lead Seed and then uh, the stomp is not going to be enough. In fact, funny. Oh, yeah. yeah. so we actually got uh, Silent. But on the run right now. back on the farm really well, I think. Was that like Vortex enough? Is the carry. Solo, double stun. The Vorce, he's actually going to run himself into the tree line and then oh. Finger of Death. And the kill hell. on the VS, but Solo, Tell the Living Arm is going to protect him. The Ice Blast is going to make sure he cannot be protected enough, though. Like. Hit into Solo, so there's not that much follow-up. At the same time, they're going to find resolution. They can turn. Each apparition hides in the tree line. The Cold Feet Vortex with Magic Missile. Trying to hold him there, and finally the Cold Feet will be able to latch. But Dandy moves up. He gets a nice old Dream Call follow-up. On two, they need a little bit more life for his tree ult. He will catch them all out, and then in comes Tidehunter as well, bringing him down with the gush. Weave is still alive, it's a two for two trade up at the moment. As Denny still hides in the tree line, he wants to make his way back down again, but he won't find a hero to kill. Always when a fly is going to be there, but Weaver takes the tower instead. Or maybe he, I, I, I take it back, I take it back, Denny. They get one target, but it's, it's, the, tim timber, it's the timber yeah. saw. Yeah, but if Timber dies, it's still go. Yeah, they realize it. They walk in range of the tower. <laughs> so it takes the entire thing up. But she's TPing in Dendi here. They're looking to have a crack. Man's gone. The ice, bar ice blast is going to come in. Solo and Resolution both getting hit by that. There will be the ravage and Dendi gets mopped up. But Funny will tank and Vance does get brought down by Lion's Finger of Death. But Avorce with his BKB is now freely going to move after Solo. He's doing the bonus damage as well because he had the chilling touch. Now Yoki back in the fight. Funny with a quick chakra. But he's on the sidelines. There's a one for three trade off. shikuchi away after. Same time, if this fight doesn't go their way, they'll be feeding Bloodstone yeah, charges to the Timber. BKB, right? no, maybe, but the BKB is already now on him, and then BKB from a force. They do get the Dream Call off, Silent. Oh, Swap gets the TP out. He's not giving himself away from this one. At the same time, as Dendi going down for the trade of the Silent Vance score. He's got Stun of Babel, he throws him to Yoki. There is the time to Ravage to keep in mind right now, and that's why a force moves as far over as he can. Time lapse won't come in time, but he has the Aegis, the Immortal, and then Ice Blast. This is going to hit absolutely perfectly. Solo as well as the Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter back will uh, Shadow Weaver will end that spree. And then Solo, last attack, not enough to kill off fan score. Right. Which finishes his uh, Queer Rise. Dyer's but he doesn't wait for it, he just goes because the timing is good. Nobody can do Solo. Jump him. There you go, your Ravage. Funny BKB will protect him. The Ice Blast. It will come in and connect, but Sunori has his BKB up and then goes into the Eclipse with the second Ravage. Fan score bounces twice.
Well, they will lose the engine apparition on the high ground. Van Scott trying to swap them out. In fact, trying to save Denny. Orbs up. He's almost dead, but 35 life points. He'll stay alive. Denny with the Dagon. And react up for the Weaver. They'll get one kill. Actually, take the entire team of Team Empire. And all they lost was what? And Ravage, which has had very little influence on yeah. Na'Vi. Yoki needs to come out big here. Oh, well, Havorce is the man on the front lines. He's still sitting there with an Aegis, the Immortal chipping away at the towers. The Observer was being planted down by both sides, so they both see each other quite clearly at the moment, apart from what's on the west. And that smoke forced off in. There goes your Ravage. The Ice Blast still coming in. He'll connect on Solid, so he'll die pretty quickly. But Funny, he also takes the ball in the middle of this team fight. This is an absolute chaos with the second Ravage. Havorce, he goes down. It's two for the price of one though with the Aegis and then he just takes <laughs> cuts to kill the Luna. Cheeky from the sides and now of course can pump that damage directly into resolution. The far back behind the tower which Denny has already managed to get a triple kill in this lineup and then finds always want to fly in the tree line. But they don't really have much more to play around here. Oh. And uh, fly. FNG has a fiction. Yeah, there goes your dust. And that's going to be always want to fly dying, giving an ultra kill to Dandy and the tier two town and RV and the entire fight. So you don't even have a double, like, your double ravage is nice, but you don't even have a single Radiant ravage at the moment. Always want to fly, to put down the observer was so we can scan out the ancient apparition on the sidelines. As AA. Needs to be careful. He's, he's pinging out saying they're about to put down the observer ward. But they got no way to defend it. That's a little bit of trouble right now. But uh, Yoki jumps in to put the kill on the lion. Solo's on the sidelines, and the ice blast hits perfectly. Weaver goes into his BKB form, hits in towards the uh, w in towards the Luna, and then just triggers the cheese, which was handed over to him from Dandy. So two heroes on the sideline. You've got Resolution being forced back a long, long way back to base. The buyback will come out from the Tide Hunter, and this time he'll actually have his Ravage. Seven seconds to go. For seven seconds is enough time for Navi to bring down the entire mid racks. It's just one Ravage. Yeah, they fallen. do have a Krieg now, but there's no BKB. The it's just too difficult to fight. They're flagging the courier. <laughs> They're flagging the courier is coming up right now, and that's the reason why you see ancient apparition making this kind of move. Okay. And that's actually the, that's, that's actually GG right there, because that's the Daedalus. That's the Daedalus. That's their damage output, which allows them to hold the line. And well, the tier three tower is gone. The mid ranks is gone. They jump up Denny again. There goes your Ravage on a three here. They got some space here. Weaver though, time left out. Most of the damage which is dealt. Silent getting killed off by the double chakrams. There goes your Luna, and I think this might actually be it right now. Now, with also the five hitting the deck, GG is the call. Na'Vi will go through 2-0 in the first game in the winner's bracket. Baldy play all round from them. Dire victory. That, that mid fight man is just much. That double ravage, they went to fight and they just lose with that. Yeah, that's... <laughs> You, so we were talking about the draft. We looked at Empire's draft and said, okay, this actually has so much more strength to it now. Like, yeah, we, yeah. We, we felt like...